Hey, Ronnie here from PLR.me. Today, we're gonna to be talking about creating a content plan for the new year. And it's a busy time of year, At the end of the year, there's always lots going on. You're busy, your clients are busy, but really now is the time to start planning, preparing, and engaging your audience for the really big push of the new year. We're gonna be going through this content plan that you see here. I will also be sharing this document with you, so not to worry. Uh, there will be a recording as well, and you, you can rewatch this at any time. So let's begin, and I wanna talk about really why the new year is so important. And as well, I wanna also introduce Richard, the Sir Richard Butler of Ireland, uh, in <laughs> who's living in Barcelona, a uh, nice warm Barcelona. Richard, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, well, let's get started. And I want to talk about how the new year is so exciting, right? It's such as it's this fresh start. There's all these new hopes and dreams, excitement, mm -hmm. and people often make these you know, new year's resolutions and some people do, some people don't, but typically what ends up happening is, you know, the goal is, yeah, let's do this. Let's have this big transformation. And then something happens and the majority of people quit. And mm. our job as coaches and therapists and counselors and, and people who lead change in, in others' lives, uh, our job is to help them along the way and minimize and just re reduce the number of, of sort of failures at the new year, right? And it's the time of year when people are paying most attention to their health, their wealth, to their job, to their family. Like there's just a whole sort of transformational mental shift that takes place. And we want to take advantage of that, right? We want to be the person that our clients go to, stick with and make lasting positive change. And so I wanna talk about some of the most common New Year's resolutions. This I got this from Statistica and you'll see the source uh, uh, below. You can always learn more about it. But these are the most common New Year's resolutions. <laughs> It's fascinating to me. I mean, it's not that surprising. Uh, the first two really are, are about health, eating healthier, getting more exercise. And then we get into the wealth side of things, saving more money. Um, and then back to sort of health, general health, like self-care. Um, and then we get into the skill-based things like reading more, learning a new skill, making new friends and relational things. Uh, but here's what's interesting. There's this 32% of people who don't really plan on making any resolutions. And that's sort of the anti-resolution crowd that you can also tap into, right? It's, it's not just about, oh, here's how you make resolutions. Well, you could take the exact opposite approach, which is, hey, you know what? Re resolutions are for losers. You can like, and I, and I don't mean it that way, but like you can take that sort of negative spin, you know, and, and it's, it's like, wait a second, what? What do you mean resolutions are for losers? And that's really captivating, curious, interesting, and someone will read that and say, oh, I agree with that. Or, you know what, maybe she's right about that. And that's what can bring people into your world. So remember, it's not just about always taking the same angle every time. It's not about, you know, oh, let's lose 10 pounds uh, this January or, you know, hey, that could work, but you could also take the opposite spin. I, I think there's a couple of things that are interesting because I was thinking just, just this, this afternoon, I was thinking, uh we start probably in october um i know a lot of people a big thing now is stop tober where people stop drinking they try and get healthy then we have uh the november movement so again people are trying to to do things and then the problem is christmas comes and when december comes i think for a lot of people everything falls apart because there's so many christmas parties there's so many family gatherings and by the time the new year comes that's why they're ready to make that change and they say okay i need to make a change so i think we need to capitalize on that and i was thinking when you said about the anti-resolution crowd um that would be a great sort of headline you know forget about new, new year's resolutions don't make them because that's like a pattern interrupt because they wouldn't expect you to say that from from nlp they wouldn't expect you to say as a coach don't make new year's resolutions so immediately people i think like you said are going to sit up and say oh what's this person saying because everybody else may be saying resolutions and I guess why people don't make resolutions, because most of the time they just, they don't work because they're different from goals. And we'll have a look at that as we, as we go on. That's right. And, and so, you know, your job as the health professional, the coach, the therapist is to, well, instill change, 
And sometimes the way you get through is through this type of pattern interrupt. Um, and sometimes you get, you know, get through to them by showing how compassionate and caring you are and being there and doing videos and engaging in, on a personal level. And so you have to find what works for you and for your audience. It's not, there's not just one way, but we're going to give you a bunch of different ideas today. And we're going to talk about really how to get your clients from point A, which is where they're at now, to point B, which is where they want to be. And quite frankly, probably year after year, they never really get to. They kind of get stuck on A, or maybe they inch a little bit closer to B, but they're still sort of closer to A. And you you want to kind of shepherd them, guide them, and, and direct them along. Okay, so we're going to be talking about that today. Now, let's keep going here. And I'm going to scroll down. Uh, this is so fascinating. So this is uh, a little study by Ernest, which tracks people's spending. And you can see in yellow is the vices. So the vices are things like alcohol, like like vanity, like like gluttony, you know, fat, alcohol, <laughs> salons, spas, fast food. And you see a huge drop from December to January in all of those sort of vices and in the, in the bad habits. And the neutral stuff, so like Amazon's taxis, it's, it's interesting they track taxis, I'm not sure why. Um, but in, so Amazon is um, sort of neutral because you know you might be buying gifts or you might be buying household items. But you see a drop there as well because people stop spending on gifts. December is the big gift giving time. And then you see the virtues, so the good habits, you see an increase in gym spending, you see an increase in diet food spending. And it's fascinating because you can see the money travels from the bad habits to the good habits. So the money is there, it's waiting for you. You need to be there for your clients when they need you. And this is the time when they're thinking about it. They feel guilty about overeating and not exercising and putting away all their hopes and dreams from this year. And next year, they want to change. They want, they want to, to make some sort of improvement. I want them to find you. That's the bottom line. I want them to find you. So let's keep going here. And so th this is the, and, and Richard, I know you wanted to talk about this too, but I, I'll just sort of start it off by saying that the pattern of events, the, the sequence of events typically goes like something like this. It's the new year. Woohoo. Like it's new beginnings, big change. You know, I got this. We can, we can do this. Right. And then a couple of weeks later, it's kind of like, yeah, you know, I kind of slipped up. Uh, this is not going to work. And then failure, right? The typical pattern is most people just say, I can't do this anymore. I give up next year, you know, or tomorrow or whatever. And yeah, and, yeah go ahead. Uh, and I think you're right. And for me, the major problem is, of course, New Year's resolutions. A lot of people make them on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day when they're all excited and they think, yeah, I'm going to give up smoking. I'm going to give up drinking. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And the next day, maybe they're tired, they're hung over, whatever it may be. And immediately they probably break that resolution to say, oh, I'll start tomorrow because today is the first or today is the second. I'll start tomorrow when I go back to work or whatever it may be. And it, sometimes that, that sort of from a resolution to breaking it could be in a matter of days because again, resolutions are not good because as we know, it's I want to lose weight but how much I want to make more money, but how much? And there's no, there's no goal there. There's no sort of, and um, we we'll look at it later of the, of the smart goal setting, et cetera. So that's where your, your in is, you know, people browsing Facebook on new year's day. If you're, if they're constantly seeing your message from before, and then they see it on new year's day and the, and the following days, that's really going to hopefully resonate with them and these people who want change. Exactly. And, and that's really, ultimately your responsibility, you know, mm -hmm. you know, where your clients are struggling, you know, that certain habits kind of creep back in the bad habits. And it's, it's ultimately your responsibility to help them break that habit. And it's your responsibility to uh, educate them in yeah. advance to prepare them in advance for when they fall, teaching them how to get back up, how to build momentum again because you know that this cycle is going to happen, right? It's going to happen. Yeah. It happens to all of us. What are you as the coach, as the expert going to do about it? How are you going to help? How are you going to be there for your clients? And that's what we're going to be talking about now. And that's how, um, that's, we're going to capitalize on this in a few different unique ways. 
So, um, Felice, if you're having trouble hearing, just try to refresh. That might help. Yeah. You. Okay. Is that a general that people can't hear me? I don't see my, I don't see the volume. Can you hear me okay, Ronnie? No, I, I hear you perfect. I hear you perfect. It might just be okay. a, a nice little issue. So let's keep going. So, so first off, okay. as as we were talking about, it is a very short window to inspire and encourage people because you yeah. know there's this there's this pattern that happens where people quit, people fail, they they just kind of give up, and so that's why you really do want to hit the ground running. Um, here's here's the most important piece of this there's there's really three things that happen they pick you right they get excited they follow you they're reading your your stuff they're watching your videos they look for a solution they think of you they choose you that's that's the ultimate solution that's the ultimate goal right but the other option is they pick someone else so maybe you your pro, your prospects your clients are ready to go they're fired up they watch something from someone else, they get into someone else's world, emails, Facebook posts, and so on, and they choose someone else. Um, the third option, which tends to be the most common, is people just don't do anything. They don't take any action. Maybe they're excited, but without any guidance, without sort of an ongoing support network, content or consuming, they get things sort of fade. And after the, the average is about six weeks, they just go back to their usual ways. So mm -hmm. we want to break that. And that's why starting from now, starting from, from December, we want to start engaging people. We want to be there for them. We want to be top of mind when they're thinking about making a change. We want them to think of you, right? We want them to think of, you know what I really like? I really like what Richard is doing. I like, I like his style. I like his, his, the way he, he, his ideas. I'm going to sign up with Richard. You know, I'm going to buy his program. I'm going to buy his ebook. I'm going to do coaching with him. Whatever, whatever the offer is. So, don't think, oh, I'm going to start this on January first. Really, you want to start now. And it doesn't mean, you know, it's, it's some huge endeavor. It's really just about engaging people now with videos, with Facebook posts, with emails, with blog posts, and so on, just to start people. Just to start getting people into your world, thinking about the things that you want them to think about, uh, that's going to lead to a lasting change, planting the seed so that when they're ready, they're going to be coming to you. And to be consistent, because a lot of people may decide it's coming up to Christmas, I'm, I'm going to stop posting because people aren't going to be looking on Facebook, they're going to be with the family. But, uh, you know, you want to be constantly in their face, for want of a better word, because as other coaches and as your other uh, competitors maybe take a couple of days off rest uh to rest you can just be there and it's even just one or two posts a day a video an image whatever it may be but just to be as you say top of mind with these people exactly exactly so what i'm gonna do now um i'm not sure why i'm out of focus it's kind of bizarre um all right so am i in focus i'm still no, you're, you're a little bit out of focus. It goes in and out of focus. Uh, bizarre. All right, so <laughs> this can keep going. I'm not sure why that is. Um, so we're going to go over some promotional angles here. And there's a few, obviously, a few different times of year uh, that we can focus. And these are just some ideas. These are just to sort of plant the seed for you because there are different ways of going about this. Um, but I just want this to be an idea that, you know, oh, I can take this and I can... Um, I can run with it, right? So that's sort of the, the, the approach. So from, from early December to Christmas, you can start focusing on the Christmas angle, which is give yourself the best Christmas present ever by investing in yourself today. It's sort of an angle that it's about, it's about you know, don't splurge on stuff you don't need, uh, on things that go out of style or out of date. Focus on improving yourself because when you improve yourself, everything else gets lifted, right? So that's sort of one angle. And uh, it's, uh, sort of along the same lines, the best gift you can give yourself isn't one you can buy in the store. You can talk about how working on your own game, your mental game, your physical game, like just working on yourself, uh, on your family, on your relationships, and how that's worth, um, you know, 10 times more than some, you know, gizmo or gadget from the store. And, okay. And I think... The yeah. uh Sorry, and I think the interesting there, uh, the interesting thing there is give yourself a gift because a lot of people are giving gifts for everybody else, especially parents, 
children, the rest of their family, but they don't give themselves a gift. So as you say, give yourself the best gift of by transforming yourself, etc. Exactly. Um, all right. So I think we've uh, lost Ronnie. So from now into December, it's kind of like, you know, come up with angles about in uh, the best gift you can, the best present you can give is the present. So if you wanted to talk about mindfulness, etc. So the idea is to try and think about how we're actually going to um, get into our prospects minds and everybody will take a different angle. And that's the beauty of it that uh, everybody will look at the resources and say, okay, well, I think I'll take that angle. So mindfulness, I'm going to take that angle. Start your year uh, in um, a calm way. Join our seven day mindfulness program. So to think about ideas, it's not just about goal setting. So think around the topics, think around the ideas and how you can fit that into a good marketing message. Awesome. Can you hear me again, Richard? Yeah, perfect. Okay, perfect. So um, then moving forward, like toward the end of uh, December and into January, we can sort of focus on the new year, new you. This is finally the time to invest in yourself. Uh, you can uh, promote a seven day challenge, something that's easy, bite sized, something that people will engage in without you know high risk or a lot of time. Um, so that's sort of the angle that that can, and there's other angles. I'm just kind of giving you a, a high level example of what you can be focusing on. Obviously it depends on what you're doing. It could be, you know, if you're in the physical physical health, like exercise, diet, nutrition, weight loss type of um, niche, you could be focusing on, you know, let's say by spring break, you know, lose 20 pounds or whatever. Like you can have some specific goal or messaging relating to that. You know, or if it's you're teaching someone how a, a new hobby or, or, you know, playing guitar, like learn how to play X by this time. Um, so, so yeah, so those are some of the ideas here from, uh, from mid December into mid January. I think the, you know, coming then moving into the sort of the mid January, I think another sort of, uh, let's call it a, a holiday or another big thing that you can start preparing people for is the blue Monday. Uh, this idea that the third Monday of the month of January is where everybody feels really blue. Why? They've suddenly realized their weight has gone up. They've suddenly realized that their resolutions haven't actually been uh, completed or they've broken them. They suddenly realize that they spent too much. Credit cards start coming in, bills start coming in. So that's another angle to look at as well, um, to say, okay, you could do that. the way I was thinking just uh, when we were talking yesterday, Ronnie was, you know, you do a seven day challenge the first seven days and then then before Blue Monday, you start engaging with them about, you know, how your resolutions going. Have you set your goals? If not, I'm arranging uh, a free webinar, for example, on the 21st, which is Blue Monday. And we're going to get you through this rock over this sort of hump of of January. And I think as well, that could be a really good target market to get in. Absolutely. Uh, Xavier, you have a great question. So as someone certified in life, nutrition and fitness, I can see how this can help so many people, but should I focus on one niche at a time? Um, well, those are all sort of related first off, um, but they are definitely distinct because you wouldn't necessarily like nutrition and fitness, they go hand in hand, but they're, they're sort of different, right? Um, if you came up with sort of a transformational program that is all encompassing that that talks about mindset and how that relates to healthy eating and how that relates to building good habits and discipline which also leads to good exercise and fitness you could do that but um, to have three separate courses or programs or offers to the same audience that i think that it would just be dividing your attention and dividing uh the attention of your audience and the problem in that case then is uh, a confused mind will not make a decision they will see three offers they'll see you know i don't know what i need i kind of need them all or i don't really understand what i'm getting in this one versus this one and so it's just better not to do that i would either focus on one area or create a transformational program maybe it's a six week or a three month or a six month program that focuses on whole life change transformation it's not about oh uh yeah you know what i want to lose 
you know, 20 pounds by March. And then I want to pound back the beers because, you know, spring break is done or whatever. Right. So, you know, it's about a lasting change and you could really focus on that angle that look like 70% or whatever the stat is of people who make resolutions and break them within the first six weeks. This is not what we're focusing on. We want lasting change. We want to have a transformation in your life and that takes time. And that's why I'm investing in you with this six month transformation program. We're going to be talking about your health. We're going to be talking about your mindset. We're going to be talking about your relationships. We're going to be talking about your diet and fitness, and we're going to create a new version of you version 2.0, right? So there's an angle for you, um, Xavier, I hope that helps. And for anyone else who's in that space, that should, um, that should give you, get the juices, um, flowing. Okay. So shall we continue? Yes, I think we shall. So we're going to talk about some of the hot topics. And I mean, obviously this is just a, you know, big list. Um, you can drill down and get even more specific, but there's, we talked about the new new year's resolutions, uh, how to create better resolutions. So things like, you know, the smart goals, creating systems, creating structure, and not just generic goals. Uh, and we also mentioned the idea of going the opposite route, which is the whole anti resolutions, don't make resolutions, resolutions suck, like that kind of approach, and follow it up with, you know, actually, what you really need are systems, you really need to follow a plan, you don't just need a big lofty goal without having the action steps to take that will reach that goal. Um, so that's that's that approach there. Um, Richard, you want to talk? I think you had some good stuff here about the goal setting. Yeah, so I I think, you know, these, what we're looking at here are probably the, the let's say the standard hot topics that, that people use of, okay, the first thing is get away from resolutions, let's get into goal settings. So you could do, and, you know, maybe straight away you don't want to sell people your course so a seven day challenge of finding your why how to set a good goal not giving all of your information but giving enough that they say wow i've learned this much from richard in his free content i can only imagine on the seventh day when he offers me group coaching a course whatever it may be that he's going to share his, his most amazing stuff so you know don't be afraid to share good content but don't give it all for free because it's like everything. When people get something for free and a, a whole course or a, a, a group coaching, whatever it may be, they don't appreciate it. They, you know, it is yeah. much better that, and you know this, that uh, they actually have to pay for something. So one goal, goal setting and achievement. Um, one of the things that we looked at was, you know, possibly the sell at the end of your seven days or the end of your 14 day challenge that you do would be overcoming obstacles course so that you could use that full course from plr.me and actually then uh, use that as your group coaching. And we'll talk more about how we're going to go into each one of those. But then the bad habits, everybody in the new year says, that's it, I'm giving up this, I'm giving up that. So you may just focus in on one of those niches, giving up smoking, because maybe you've had a lot of success with that. Uh, drinking, maybe, you know, you're a counselor in addictions, so you could just focus on one element there. Or, and then just general information about how to kick a bad habit. Again, general. And then maybe the sell at the end of it is, well, join my 14-day uh, addiction program uh, to cure your addiction to smoking or drinking, whatever. Uh, you may look at it there. And of course, the big one that, uh, and I'm even starting to worry about it and it hasn't even started yet, is the lose weight, get fit. <laughs> and I admit, <laughs> I'm already worried about that myself. Um, and, you know, get your energy back. So we all know that food coma, that food slump that we have during those uh, Christmas uh, days. Now, I think you guys in, in North America are lucky because your Christmas might be only a couple of days. Here in Spain, it goes on for nearly three weeks. So it's, yeah, wow. <laughs> this one is, this, this is a good one for the Spanish market for sure. Um, but get your energy back, build your strength, build your stamina, even start promoting, you know, get that bikini body or that, well, I don't know what the equivalent is for men, but you know, get that beach body uh, for the summer because it's never too soon because people are feeling sluggish, etc. This will help with their self-confidence, their self-esteem, etc. And then the two courses there, 
uh, cutting calories course, burning calories course. So Percy has said, try the one meal, one plate plan. <laughs> Thank you, Percy. I can't find a plate big enough. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then another one, and coming coming from a, uh, a recruitment background, one is the whole career idea that people yep. say, that's it, this year I'm leaving that job, I hate it, I'm going to start uh, looking for a new job. And that's where you can get into um, finding happiness in your job. So maybe you're not ready to leave, but how can you be happier in your job? And again, mindfulness, let all the problems in your workplace just flow over you. So again, although we talked about career, you could bring mindfulness into that. Um, starting your own business. Finally, this is the year, 2019 is the year that you're gonna start your business. Start them on that. The public speaking challenge would be something that you could do then to get people to build up their confidence, their self-esteem. Um, who doesn't want to uh, rediscover happiness and passion? And one of the things to rediscover happiness is maybe to rediscover yourself, and oh look, we do actually have a course about that called the Authentic Life Course, okay? Um, which is a course that you can use uh, to get people, and this is quite a, it's it's an intensive course, and it could be uh, a number of courses or retreats that you could do to become your authentic self, because before you can find happiness, you need to know who you are. That ties in with the goal setting as well, that you could introduce that idea in a goal setting seven day challenge of get to know yourself, so that you can actually start to build up goals. Learning new skills, um, again, something that people need to disconnect because we're so connected to, to, to the web, to work, to everything else that maybe we need skills. Tie that back into learn uh, how to turn a hobby into a business, which is also ties into the career change. So you can see how everything is interwoven here. Um, and then we have the inspiration from, from winners course. So you could uh, introduce people to all of these topics and then you say, actually, I'm starting up a new uh, group coaching and here it is. And then the becoming an even better, okay? Coaching sessions with people, become an even better parent, partner, leader, uh, become even better in your relationships in general. And maybe it's business, it's personal, et cetera. So there's a lot there. And really the idea that we want to, to give you is, Think all around the box, not just inside or outside, but think 360 degrees and tailor to your audience and use the new year when people are looking for change to really uh, get in there and say, I'm the person who can help you with that change. Absolutely. And, and all of these strategies here are to give you some idea. You're not you're not going to do all of them, um, but you have to look at your niche, your market, your audience. What are they struggling with? What, where do they need the most help? What is your specialty? What, what is your interest? And you can work through this list and choose something. We have content and we gave some examples of some of the courses or challenges, but we have content across all of these different topics. Just do a quick search or filter in the in this categories in the sidebar and you'll be able to find some content that will help you fill in all the gaps. Great, you wanna help people learn new skills? Here's some content relating to that. Uh, oh, you want to help people rediscover their passion this year? Okay, here's how you can do that. So go through this list and identify what it is that you like, what it is that your audience is thirsting for, struggling with, and then offer that as your as your content, as your um, offer, your program, and so on. Okay, so I'm going to uh, scroll down. I just want to mention a couple things here. Obviously. There are, and I always like to go through this list, you know, you, you might be doing some of these things, um, some but not others, maybe you're doing them all, but just as a reminder, there are multiple ways of publishing, right? It's not just, I'm gonna throw something up on my blog and I'm done. No, get stuff up on emails, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, YouTube, do live streams. There's lots of different mediums that you want to explore and figure out where your audience is hanging out. Mm. For example, somebody who's in, you know, you're teaching, uh, talking about career, job, time management, productivity, you need to be on LinkedIn. That's where your audience is, right? So maybe you don't focus so much on Twitter. That's totally fine, but you need to be focusing on LinkedIn, right? So that's as one example, just pay very close attention to where your audience is and be there, you know, mm. create good content, shareable content, grab stuff from the PLR.me content library and transform it into those other mediums, audio, video, text, and so on, okay? 
All right, so let's keep going on. Uh, Richard, I think you want to talk about this. This is a fantastic idea. I will click on some of the links to give uh, people a good idea. Oh, excellent. Okay, because I, yeah, that's yeah. perfect. So I was coming up with my own ideas on what we could do for this seven day challenge. And I thought, okay, you could name it New Year, New You. Okay, nice kind of, they rhyme, the letters look, look the same, et cetera, begins with N's and Y's. And you could use, uh, for example, look at the GROW model of the goals, the realities. I like to look at the opportunities and what next. Okay, so what are people going to do? So what, are, what, what is your goal? What is the reality that you see? What are the opportunities out there? And what are you going to do next? Because one of the things, of course, from goal setting is that a lot of the times people set amazing goals, like super amazing goals, and then they put the book away and they say, oh, I feel great. I've set my goals for the year and they don't do the what next part, which is which is awful. So this is what I was thinking that you could do. Day one, what is your life purpose? OK, so um, what you'll see in the document and when you get to the document, you'll see it that that these are hyperlinked to just one idea that I thought one resource that you could use here of what is your life purpose? Um, help people define that. Because a lot of the times that's the, that's the struggle that people have. And I often say to people, I still struggle with knowing exactly what I want to do in life at, at, at 46. But this is a, a real problem that people have. And people are becoming more aware of it. That moment when they wake up and they say, well, what am I doing in this awful job or whatever it may be? Now, so what I then did was um, just on where it says collection, I assembled maybe 10, 12, 15 resources that I think you could find useful. And just again to get the creative ideas flowing. Now, the great thing here is that there's some worksheets, there's some articles. Um, I think in some of the collections I've put in um, reflections as well. So you can start using these, and you may say, you, you may decide to take one of these and use it for the whole seven days because maybe you're going to show them how to uh, find their life purpose over seven days. So you could do a sampling or you could do uh just focus on one of these particular topics so then i was thinking day two if we go back to the yeah just replying so cindy was asking will we be sending you this yes we will give you the whole document yeah. and all of the links not to worry yeah so then we have okay you've found out your life purpose in in one day or hopefully and then your personal mission statement okay so what is your mission so now you know kind of you may know or be more clear on what your life purpose is. So let's come up with a personal mission statement. What are your values? What are your beliefs, etc.? And all of that could be tied in. Okay. So um, creating a mission, uh, a mission statement there. You'll see that that some of the articles as well. Finding your life purpose is there. Um, but it's probably something that a lot of people maybe have done in the corporate world, but they've never done it for themselves. They've never even thought about that, creating a personal mission, a personal mission statement. What do I, as Richard Butler, stand for? What do you, Raquel, or, or Raquel or Ronnie, what do you stand for or, or, or Cindy? So knowing what you stand for is going to help you then set your goals and know exactly what is acceptable to you and what is not acceptable in trying to achieve those goals. So we... If we pop back to the yeah, I, I just want to add something there. Yeah. So just to, just so we understand, this seven day challenge is not meant to be big and complicated. Mm -hmm. So it could be as simple as recording a three or five minute video and saying, "Hey, today we're going to be talking about your life purpose, and I'm going to help you identify some of the key areas that you can look at to figure out what that life purpose is." And at the end of today's challenge, I want you to complete this one simple worksheet, or I want you to answer this one simple question. And that's it. That's the action for the day. It's not about overwhelming you with tons of work to do during the holidays. And it's also not overwhelming your client with a big laundry list of all of the stuff that they need to do. It's about one thing. So for example, the personal mission statement, the action could be fill in this worksheet, create a mission statement. That's it. Could be as simple as that. Or it could be you ask a question. Hey, what is it that you think your mission statement is? Post it in the comments below. And so you could actually run this whole challenge in a Facebook group. Post the video, day one, comment below with your action, with your reflection, with whatever it is that you're the homework, those simple tasks that you're asking them to do. 
post it in the comments below. So they're on a platform that they're already familiar with, that you're already familiar with. It's about building a community, building a group, and then you as the expert, as the leader, shine and show off your skills, mm -hmm. showing them, hey, this is, I'm gonna guide you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shepherd you through this whole process. So that way we'll get to the end, but toward the end, they're gonna say, I really, really love working with Raquel. I love working with Xavier. I love working with Sin. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna sign up. I'm gonna book a coaching session. I'm going to buy her course. I'm gonna do, you know, whatever mm. the action step that is. So just keep in mind, it's meant to be simple. You can mm. keep it as simple as possible. Fill in this worksheet or answer this question, comment below, keep it really straightforward. Yeah, and, and you know, that's why, you know, as I said, one of these, just one of these days could be the whole seven day challenge for you. Uh, exactly. Yeah. You know, you might ju just decide the personal mission statement. That's it, because that's something that nobody's new. And then all of the others could be spin off mini courses, etc. So finding your passion, another thing. They often say, you know, do what you love and you'll never work another day in your life. So a lot of people probably don't even know what their passion is. Um, and they've never even thought about it they went into the corporate world for whatever reason and they haven't thought about it so again there's a good maybe 10 15 articles there about discovering your true true passion download them record it do a facebook live if you're nervous about any of these things about facebook lives whatever just do it it doesn't matter if it doesn't go well the first time the second time it'll go better the third time it'll go even better or or record it as a podcast if you don't want to be on camera as well Record it as a little slideshow, put it up on YouTube as a, as a slideshow, a PowerPoint slideshow. Just start doing. Uh, send to, an email to, out, right? Yeah, Just send, exactly. send one email per day. There's the challenge. It's, it's a blurb and an action step. Here's what I want you to do today. Mm -hmm. Boom. Keep it simple. That's it. And, you know, and don't overthink Yeah, Sorry. don't overthink it. I was going to say exactly that. Don't overthink <laughs> it. <laughs> I know, I know, and this is the problem because we overthink it. And then once we overthink, like, like our clients, once we overthink, we, we think ourselves out of it and we say, yeah. no, I can't do that. Uh, of course, the, you know, the big one that, that would be something for our, uh, the new year would be creating the smart goals. Maybe you would say a one, one acronym or uh, one letter of the, of the acronym smart for every day of the week. So you do S, uh, so you do five of them. And then you could say, okay, today we're going to talk about the S of smart goals. Today we're going to talk about the M of smart goals. And again, there's worksheets there, uh, the miracle question there, solution focused goals, because everybody knows resolutions, everybody knows goals, but not everybody knows exactly the best way to create a goal. Um, the example that I always give is the example that uh, Tony Robbins uses. Somebody says, I want to make more money. So he gives him a dollar and he said, there you go. You've achieved your, your goal. You've just made a dollar. If it's not, if it's not a specific amount, well, then a dollar means that you've actually achieved your goal. So again, looking at things like that, uh, yeah, the weekly goal tracker, even have that branded using the PLR.me tools that you can actually use the PDF branded just to brand your name at the bottom of that particular worksheet. Or so the goal setting. Lots of resources here just mm -hmm. to show you. So, you know, you can pick and choose what you'd like. You can download them all, or you can just kind of go through and say, you know what, I want to use these for this day, or maybe I'm going to use these for a course, or I'm going to use these as a free giveaway um, to build my list. But there's lots of ways of using that. So, you know, and, and I, we, we can continue on. I, I want to, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think we get the idea here. You can split yeah. this up into days, you know, there's day five, day six, but I want to skip ahead to day seven which is really the most important day, which is now the transition day, right? So we go from, great, you've been following me throughout this process. We've been working together. You're making progress. Now it's time to take a leap. Right? Now it's time to figure out what are you gonna do next? Because if you stop here, your momentum just comes to a screeching halt and you're done. Mm -hmm. But as a coach, as the expert, you know that they need to take things to the next level. It's not about, Great, I did the challenge. My whole year is now complete. No, right? We need to keep moving. And that's why, Richard, I want you to, to mention sort of what you would do with the next steps on the, the final day. I, I think as you, you know, as you have there, summarize, you know, so this is what we went over the last six days. This is what I explained to you. And then have an offer ready. For example, the overcoming obstacles course, because after the six or seven days, maybe they're a little bit 
apprehensive. I can't do it. I, I really want to do this, but I need help. So suddenly you have this course for them. Now, there's overwhelm here that you say, oh my God, there's so much on this course. What do I do? Well, you could set this up as a live uh, weekly uh, group coaching or group training, and then each week just provide uh, the content of the course. Obviously, you, you know, you do a, a webinar like this, etc. You have your PowerPoints there. Uh, you have your video sales letter there. You could do it live. You could record it and then you sell the recording. So 197 for the let's say it's a four week, uh, a one day a week course. And then you could do 97 for the actual replays. Now you've just done two products uh, in one. So think about that. And again, don't get overwhelmed. There we go. Don't get overwhelmed by <laughs> how would I do that? How, exactly. how am I going to do that? Um, this could be even for people who are a little bit nervous about it. This could be the best course that they could actually read and then just actually give the course. So you have 10 modules there. So you could say it's a 10 week course uh, over five well, this weeks. Is just module one. Mm. That's just module one, 10 lessons, and they're short, they're actionable, mm. module two, and then module three, module four. So you can go ahead and split this up into four weeks. Mm. You can combine them. You can turn it into uh, a six month program, extending it, adding your own one on ones, really taking people through it carefully and slowly, methodically, or you can take pick and choose things from it, make it a shorter condensed program. There's lots of different ways of using this. And the, you know, yeah, great. You can do a video, you can do it live, you can record it. You can also just take the slides and maybe you just do, uh, do them as sort of freebie trainings, a couple of the lessons mm -hmm. as freebie trainings and then give away, then sell the, uh, the rest of the training, right? The rest of the course. Um, so and Rick, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Just to answer, because I, I think it did, um, it did come up in the, in the Facebook group. I personally, I wouldn't just take the slides and put them up on something like Udemy. You need to make them just a little bit your own, put your own tone of voice on it record the actual slides but don't just sort of say ah here it is and i put it up on udemy because the problem is if 10 people put exactly the same course up on udemy there's going to be challenges with that so use this because for example i took the um being your authentic self course and i just read all the material i added resources to it i recorded it on camera like this and then I uploaded it up to Udemy. And I've actually broken that into, I, I'm still editing sort of the second part of the course. Mm -hmm. And I'll have a third course based on that because there is amazing content here. Yeah, and, and a couple of questions came up. So Ra Raquel was asking, do, do we have courses? Yes, yes, we do. We have a bunch of courses and, and many more on the way. Um, if you just go to, do, 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 um, actually, let me go to, this is an easier way of finding it. So if you go to products, and then go to courses, coaching programs, and workshops. You will find the courses there. Now, just a, a note, um, these courses that you see here are just the, the text-based courses. So if you want the sales letter, if you want the email sequence, and the Facebook ads, and the marketing materials, the slide deck presentations, all of the other stuff that goes along with the course, uh, you can go into the item and just scroll down a little bit, and you'll see this box here this is, there, there's a bundle and the bundle has all of that stuff, right? So if I show you the overcoming obstacles bundle, which is where we just were, you get eight different things and it's at a discount. So you get all of the course materials, the, the marketing stuff that I'll show you here. Um, there's a list right here. So you get the text-based course and this, this specific one is two modules, 20 lessons, plus there's 50 additional resources, handouts, worksheets, stuff inside of each lesson. There's the slide deck presentations, there's the email sequence, the Facebook ads, landing page, lead magnet, sales page, video sales letters. All of that stuff is included in the bundle because I know sometimes people get confused by that. If you want all of these things, you get the bundle. If you just want the course, the actual text-based course itself, you can get that individually. So that's, I just wanna make that clear. Um, so there's a lot of courses, co all courses have bundles that you have mm -hmm. all of the accompanying materials, the marketing materials as well. Um, and Fiona was asking, do you have information on financial freedom? Yes, actually tons. If you go to view all categories and product types, and you'll see the list of um, 
finance materials. So here it, there's, for example, frugal living, um, there's insurance, there's, if you go to money, there's money tips, money management, making money and so on, M uh, money mindset. But if you can just, if you just type in financial freedom in the search, you'll see here, conquer your money blocks and enjoy financial freedom. And there's many others. Um, this is a report. If you scroll down, you can see here, this is, it's, it's probably really small for you to see, but it's 48 pages. This is what it looks like, nicely designed, ready to go for you. And you get the materials, you get the course uh, or the, the book or the article, and you get the source file so you can open it up, you can change it all, uh, you can make it your own, you can change the cover, you can take the text from the course and present it as a webinar, you can present it as a, a podcast, mm -hmm. uh, you can have a live event, there's so many different ways that you can use it and you can use it as many times as you like. Raquel is asking, can you use it more than once? Yeah, sure, you can take this and sell the ebook. Transform it, turn it into a coaching program with multiple videos or webinars or um, you name it. I mean, you can, you can transform it and use it multiple ways. Once you license it and download it once, you can reuse it multiple times. Um, do you have anything around healthy eating, healthy recipes? Yes, absolutely. We have over 12,000 items. So go ahead and do the search uh, in the top here. And you can also go to products and you can look at the popular categories or click on view all categories. But if I just type in, let's say, hello, healthy eating, you'll see a, a gradual approach to healthy eating, a traveler's guide to healthy eating, and you can click on show all results and you will see all of the resources relating to that keyword. Um, there, there are 63 in this case, you can see sort by the, in the sidebar, you can say, you know what, I want to, I want only articles, so I'm gonna click on that. And now it sorts that as well. Um, you can get, you can also just say, well, you know what, maybe, maybe it's not just about healthy eating, maybe it's about diet. Maybe that's also what I'm looking for. And you can say, oh, I wanna search for all types relating to diet and let's do that search. 279 items and I can look here on the sidebar. It might be a little hard to see, so I'm gonna try to blow it up for you. Uh, I can click on reports and eBooks, for example, click on that and now here are books related to that. So top 20 brain uh, foods, empowering diet tips to help you eat clean, eating for happiness. So there's lots of resources relating to probably most of the topics that you're looking for. And if you have any requests, we definitely take requests as well. Um, and okay, so let's keep going because I know we're running out of time. Um, and but, but I just wanted to answer some of those questions. Sorry, Richard. It will, we'll, yeah, no, no. Um, yeah. So so again, then, and I mentioned it, the Becoming Your Beautiful Authentic Self course would be another way that you could guide people in. Again, you know your tribe or you will get to know your tribe. You'll get to know those people who are interested. Let them reach out to you. For example, if you've done a Facebook Live, if you have a Facebook group, let them reach out and you know maybe put up a, a survey in a Facebook group and say, okay, well, what is your burning problem for 2019 or what did you not achieve in 2018 that you want to achieve in 2019 mm -hmm. but this is the idea and you know we have those courses there but there's nothing to say that you couldn't take you know four articles an ebook and a couple of affirmations and make that into a course as well so don't just think oh there's no course on healthy eating wow bummer think okay let me find all the healthy eating um products let me go down through them and then let me match that with a goal setting uh ebook that we have as well about smart goal setting and then combine them so yeah. don't overthink it but don't underthink it as well don't just search and say ah there's no diet courses think about well, actually there are sorry there actually are a couple of diet ones uh diet uh, cutting calories and burning calories so cutting calories mm -hmm. is about diet burning calories is about exercise but i do want to point out because it's a great point richard you actually put together if you go to learn and go to how to use plr content videos here Richard put together an awesome video series about how he creates courses. And if you scroll down, it's under this section here, how to build a course using plr.me content and go through these videos uh, because he talks about how he compiled a bunch of different resources, articles, affirmations, worksheets, eBooks, and how he puts that and assemble that into an outline uh, and into a full complete course that he sells on Udemy. And just to toot your horn, Richard, because I know you're, you're too modest, but you're up to what? I am. <laughs> 7,500, like 7,500 students on Udemy from yes. your courses. And yeah. you you get these courses up in a weekend. You're using the PLR.me content. You get it up there. You record them. 
add your personality, add your voice, but you're using the done for you content as the foundation to get the courses up now fast this weekend. Like that's how fast it is. So watch these videos if you haven't already. Uh, fantastic training about how to use the content and assemble your own courses. So, so I just wanted to point that. Xavier said, wow, Richard, I'm going to watch you because I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> a nice that's beard awesome. too. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah, you, you'll see the progression of the beard maybe over some of those courses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, so um, the point is at the end of the seven day challenge, which is one of the ways that we recommend using the content because it's a great, simple way. It's, it's something that that's actionable that people can can do. It's simple, seven days. I can do that. At the end of that challenge, have an offer ready. So we talked about some of the courses already. Grab one of those courses. Grab one of the eBooks. Turn that into a course, or present the eBook as a webinar. Charge for the webinar, even if it's a sixty-minute webinar. Charge ten bucks for it, or turn that sixty-minute webinar into maybe a four-week program where you have mm -hmm. teaching in one week. The the week after is Q and A, like group coaching. The week after is the, the second half of the book and the final week is group coaching again. There's your four week pro uh, coaching program, charge $200 for it. So yeah. don't overcomplicate it, make it really simple. Use the content, okay, great, you got the ebook, go down with some worksheets, handouts and other materials to offer as bonuses, great. Now they have homework to do in between lessons. Keep it really simple on yourself because that's how, that's how you're gonna get things done. Okay, it's super, super important. Uh, Carmela, is there a fee to watch your how-to videos? No, they are absolutely free. Just, just to show you again, go to learn. And there's other training videos. You can take a look at the content marketing training here, the content inspiration gallery. Uh, the one that we're mentioning now with Richard and the courses is, uh, is under how to use PLR content. Just scroll down and you will see it here, how to build a, co a course using PLR to be content. We have other videos on this page as well. There's tips and tricks, how to change the PDF cover to make it your own. We have uh, many other trainings. So you can scroll through this page. It is all mm. free. So you don't have to pay for anything um, uh, for those videos. Okay, so, um, uh, okay, hold on, let's keep moving. Um, yeah, and, and I know it's a busy time. We wanted to mention this as well. You don't need to prep in advance for everything. I don't want this to be so overwhelming that you feel like you won't do anything. The best part about this is you have the content at your fingertips. You can sell, you can start selling a, you know, four week coaching program today for January and you don't have to have any product ready because you can present it live. You can do a live training kind of like what we're doing right now and teach about whatever topic you want to talk about. Sell it from now. Give yourself a month or six weeks to prepare it, but you can start to sell it now without having to have it all done before you sell it. That's the beauty of doing something live. And of course, as we've mentioned earlier, or for six months from now, or whenever you'd like. So that's the, the beautiful part about doing training live. Um, I want to point out a couple other things before we wrap up. We do have tons of bundles. I'm going to click on this link here and you'll see that there are over a hundred bundles. Um, you can scroll through these. You can grab any of these, download these. Um, it's a dis it's at a discount because they're bundled. So you, you save anywhere from 20 to 30% and up. Um, and so you can take a look at those, but I want to point out one in sp specifically, it's called the new year content bundle that we put together, especially for today for you to have all the content that you need. Uh, that's related to the new year, right? The, the, all the transformation shifts and mental shifts and, and physical shifts and, my, and all of that stuff that's going on. Um, you can scroll through the bundle. It is a massive page. There's over a hundred products. You can see some of the reports and eBooks that you get. Um, you, you get obviously a huge discount when you get the bundle, but if you don't need all of the items, totally fine. You can go in here. Let's say, you know what? I want this happy new year one. You can click on go to item and you can log in uh, click on download and you can just get that one item if you'd like. If you want the whole bundle, it's discounted because you, you know, it's sort of the bulk buy type of thing. Um, okay, so I wanted to point that out as well. So definitely take a look at the new year content bundle. You can also see what's new and you can find that by just clicking on products. I'm gonna let it load here. So I'm gonna go here. Um, 
If you click on products and you go to new products, you'll see all of the items that are new and you can sort and say, you know what, I only want to see what's new with reports and mm -hmm. action guides. And you can click on those and you'll see what's new there. So you can take a look. Um, also, you can browse collections. These are collections that our people like you have created. So if there's a certain um, a product, I'm going to have to fix that link, um, a certain sort of a category or topic, you can see what other people have put together. So here's some that Richard has put together, authentic self, motivation, passion, and you can see there's lots. So there's grief, financial freedom. Um, clients have put together, or people like you, put together these collections and share it. So that way you can browse them and click on them and download any items that you'd like from within there. So I wanted to point that out. And of course, as a member, you get access to the content marketing tools. It's going to show you that real quick. Um, we have, I think, a dozen tools that you can access to, and you can scroll through and take a look. The auto slide deck lets you create presentations, beautiful presentations automatically. The content auto loader lets you preload your, your WordPress blog for six months or a year or for 10 years if you wanted to. You can preload your site, schedule out all the posts so you don't have to update it manually. The PDF brander lets you add your own. A logo or call to action on PDFs and same idea with the image brander and so much more. You can take a look at those. Um, we're going to share this document. I'm going to paste it into the chat now. Uh, so that is good to go. And you can take a look. So yeah, Richard, that, that document will be, will be available for you to, to uh, use, to see the collections that we put together, uh, et cetera. So it'll be really, it, again, it is just to get the creative uh flow going and i know you guys are going to just come up with so many more collections and so many more ideas and i just put pasted that link in the chat can't, so you can start to take a look. i can't hear you ronnie i'm not sure if other people are having an issue um, um i don't know um i i do not know uh <laughs> if okay. you can hear it, me it must be just me let me okay. know okay so can hear you both. okay me, so I did paste the link in there. So uh, you can take a look at that. Um, any other questions, please let us know. Oh, wow. And I'm trying to, um, so yeah, okay, Charles, so, you can so hear me. Okay, can, so can hear. I'm just seeing if there are any other last minute questions, let me know. Um, Janelle, you had a great question. So your courses and resources are um free for us to use with our clients is there a membership fee charged so um they, you, you can brand them as your own absolutely you just have um, to uh, you can either buy pay as you go credits or you can become a member and we have different options a monthly and annual plans that gets you credits and those credits let you download the different items and the reason that we use credits just to kind of show you here uh we'll so see. i don't know if you guys can can hear me <laughs> I saw Ronnie yeah, I saying can, I so can, many amazing I can things. Hear you. He must have been saying so many amazing <laughs> things about me. Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> you know how modest I am, so I'm glad I couldn't hear it because I would have been very embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> so, guys, if I can just say thank you very much for all of your um, all of your support on the webinar, all of your questions, etc. Um, if if there's people who are still sort of not sure of the PLR.me site, or if they haven't subscribed, or they want to know more about the, the different plans. We do do a free 15-minute uh, cons consultation as well that you can actually contact Ronnie or contact myself, and I'll get on the phone with you, and I can talk you through, and I can show you the searching, etc. cetera. Uh, that's just something we do just because we love you guys. I'm going to have to go, Ronnie, uh, yes. because I just have a client now. Yes, I'm going to let you go, I'm, Richard. So I'll, I'll, I'll stay on to answer you. some um, other Shane, questions. Let me just put it in here. You can either contact Ronnie or you can uh, talk to them in the chat. Uh, and they'll put you in contact with me, or you can just email me, Richard, at plr.me, and I can arrange a time. I'll send you my calendar. And also then, you know, that's a 15-minute free consultation just to see how we can help you. Okay. Yeah, and take so, advantage of that. I'm going to let you go, Richard. I'm sign off, and it's been great, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to continue on. Um, so definitely take advantage of, of that free 15-minute call with Richard. Uh, this is sort of to give you an idea of how you can use the PLR.me content in your business. And he'll give you strategies. He'll walk you through the site and make sure you understand how it all works. And definitely do that. Okay, so I highly, highly recommend that. Um, Shane, how do you access the call? Just make sure you can email Richard at PLR.me and he will get that all set up for you. 
Um, okay, so let me check some of the other questions. Um, and Percy said the annual plan is the way to go, definitely, because you get the most credits. You're, 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 you have a whole year to use them, and they do roll over. Credits do roll over month to month or year to year. Um, you also get the tools for a full year as well, and it's really the best rate because you're you're going to have no worries about your content from now for the whole year, right? And 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 on. So I highly recommend that. Um, Okay, there was another question. I'm just trying to scroll. Xavier said, I did the annual. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, so do you have a New Year deal for annual or monthly? Uh, Cindy, reach out to us. You can reach out to us uh, on the chat and just let us know you saw us on the webinar. You can click on the little button at the bottom right, and that'll open up the chat. So you can reach out, Cindy, and we'll see if we can do something special for you. Um, all right, so there was a question that I'm going to try to scroll through and find. Janelle said, thank you for answering my questions about membership and credits. This has been a really valuable conference. Awesome. So happy to hear that. Um, okay, so there will be a replay. Oh, Shane, uh, are you locked into a term when you join monthly? No, you can cancel at any time. You can sign up today, cancel tomorrow. You'll still have the, the month to use the credits and you'll still have the month to use the tools, but you can cancel at any time. Same goes with the annual. There's no long-term commitment. You can sign up today get your credits today. You can cancel tomorrow. You'll still have the full year to use the credits and to use the tools and, and, and all the downloads. I also want to point out, if you cancel, anything you've downloaded stays in your account. So you can re-download anything at any time. There's no additional charge, even if you're canceled. Okay, so you, you can see here, um, I've downloaded this report before. It's checked off. I can go to my account, go to my downloads, even if for whatever reason, I cancel, no problem. I will still see my downloads and I can re-download anything that I've previously downloaded. Again, no charge. I wanna point that out. It's very important because this is in your account. Even if you cancel, it's still going to be in your account. Um, let me just check if I missed any other questions in the chat. Um, Joe said, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. You rock. Thank you for being here too. Um, okay, so I'm going to scroll down. Uh, what is the best way? So, hold on, sorry. Charlotte said, best investment I ever did. Awesome. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Uh, Donald, what is the best way to take advantage of all the new stuff as an old time member? Uh, well, log into the new site, poke around, download stuff, enjoy the, the search and the filtering, and download the courses. Use the courses, Donald. Um, it's the, it's really one of the best things that you can do just to explore because you're going to find lots of content in here. Attend these meetings like what we just did now. And you're going to learn a ton, but you're also going to have a good strategy, good plan of how to use all of the content. Jacinta said, thank you for this. I didn't hear everything. I have to go back in again a few times. Sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm going to have to contact the webinar provider and see what they'll have to say about that. Um, Michael, what is the website address to check out options? I think you found it, but just in case you didn't, you just go to plr.me slash pricing and you will find those options there. Um, you can also reach out to us on the chat if you have any other questions or if, if there's, maybe we can work out something special um, to celebrate the end of the year for you. Um, Charles said the courses are great. Charlotte missed out on the first part of the webinar. Will there be a replay? Yes. Um, there will be. You will. We'll send out an email about that. So just pay attention to your inbox. Shane, thank you for a great intro. Uh, I'm newly referred by Maurice and Murgatroyd. Awesome. So happy that you made it here. Um, I think I got. Uh, I'd like to know how to get any specials, Melissa. Just uh, Michelle. Sorry, not Melissa. Um, click on the little chat icon here and reach out to us and just mention that you were on the webinar and we'll see if we can give you a special deal. So um, go ahead and do that. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing any other questions. Percy, great value. Thanks for all the ideas. Time to sit down and work out my calendar. Thanks again. So happy about that. Definitely go through this content plan, uh, scroll through, click on the links, check out the uh, special content bundle that we put together, the new year content bundle. Um, grab that because it's just going to be the shortcut. You get a whole bunch of resources that you can plan out for Facebook posts, LinkedIn posts, emails, blog posts, webinars, live streams, videos, 
podcasts, whatever you do, you can grab the content and use that in uh, a bunch of different ways. Uh, Iris said, uh, just wondering where we can download the document from the session. Did I miss that? Yes, you did, but no problem. I'm gonna post, post that again in the chat. And I will also share the, obviously with the replay, you will get access to the document as well. So you can take a look through this. So if there are any other last minute questions, please let me know now um, before I head off. Uh, Janelle, I would like a deal too. So just reach out on the chat and we will see what we can do. Um, we will, no promises. We just had our huge Black Friday deal. So um, we'll, we'll do what we can for you. Um, for, I know the holidays are always a tight time. So we'll make sure we give you the best deal that we have available right now. Okay, so going once, will the recording be on this platform or emailed? Um, it will be emailed. It might also be on this platform. I'm not entirely sure. It's the first time that we're using it. Um, and, but it, I will definitely be emailing it for sure. So you need to not to worry. Uh, we will send out the replay. Okay, so that's it for me today. Thank you so much for joining. I really hope it was helpful. I hope that you learned a few things. I hope you have a good strategy for how to use the PLR.me content for the new year and what you can do with maybe challenge courses, webinars, coaching programs, and how we can just make your life a whole lot easier and simplify things now when the busiest time of the year using the done for you content. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We really appreciate you. And we're here for you. We're here to support you. Any, any topic requests, any training requests, anything else, let us know. But thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Take care.